So how do devices with all these different frame types, let's bring this all together. Let's talk about how devices decide who gets to talk next. Now, this is kind of crazy, all right? So, uh, so I don't know, uh, uh, maybe hit pause on the other YouTube video you've got playing or something like that and pay close attention to this because it's kind of hard to keep track of, okay? I'll try to keep it as simple as possible. Now, over here on the left-hand side, we've got a bunch of different stations, right? A station is either a client device or an access point. It doesn't matter. It's just a Wi-Fi device of some type. So we've got station one, station two, three, four, five, and six. We've got six different stations and we've got time moving from left to right, okay? So now we're going to take a look at how devices decide who gets to talk next. How is it that all these devices share the same channel and take turns talking so efficiently? So we're going to start down here with station six. At, uh, at this point in time, station six is just finishing up sending some data, and then there's a SIF, that's a short inner frame spacing. It's kind of like a breath between words like I just took. It's just a little bit of a breath be, uh, between those different frames, and then station five transmits its acknowledgement. So we have our data frame, and then we reply with the acknowledgement. Now, both station two and station four, they both have something that they need to transmit. They both have something that they need to say. So they're gonna basically roll the dice and decide who is going to talk next. So they're both, both going to roll the dice, and station two rolled seven back off slots, and station four rolled nine back off slots. Now what they're going to do is they're going to count up through those back off slots in unison. And then as soon as the, the lowest number runs out of back off slots, it'll start talking, okay? So they're going to count up together. They're going to count in unison quietly just to themselves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then station four is going to, it's going to go seven, and oh, because station nine just started talking. Station nine, or I'm sorry, station two rather, counted all of its back off slots. It counted up to seven and went, yay, nothing has talked yet. I counted all the way to seven and nothing started talking, so it's my turn to talk. So you see how they did that. They rolled the dice, they counted in unison, and the one with the lowest number started talking first. So now station two is uh, station two is using RTS-CTS with its access point, or with its client device, rather. So it's going to send its request to send, and the, uh, and the other station is going to reply with a clear to send. It's going to say, yep, you're clear to send. So here's what happened. When station two transmitted its, clear, its uh, request to send, that let station four know, okay, something else is talking. I need to back off. But when it backs off, it's going to keep its back off counter. 9 minus 7 is 2, so now its back off counter is 2. And then when station 1 transmitted the clear to send, it's also going to let everything else know on the channel, okay guys, everybody shut up because we are talking for this duration of time. We're gonna, they're going to all set a nav timer, it's called a network allocation vector. They're all going to set a nav timer, and they're basically going to all synchronize their watches and go, okay guys, everyone shut up for this amount of time, these guys are having a conversation, that's what a nav timer is. So now station 2 is going to send that data frame, and station one is going to reply with an ACK, and we're done. We have now had a nice little conversation between station one and station two. And now station two has some more data to transmit, so it's going to roll the dice again because it wants to get in there and, and transmit again. And station four didn't get to transmit the first time around either, so now it's going to get in there as well. But instead of rolling the dice, remember, it already, it already backed off, right? And so it kept its back off counter of two. So now its remaining back off is only two slots. Whereas station two is starting over, so it's got a back off of 10 slots remaining. So now they're gonna count up in unison. One, two, and station four is gonna go three. Okay, it's my turn to talk. And so it's going to transmit its data. And when it does, station two sees that and sets a nav timer and defers and backs off. So station four transmits the data, and then station three replies with the acknowledgement. So let's just let that sink in for a second. This is happening millions of times a second. Do you have a cell phone in your pocket right now? Is Wi-Fi turned on? This is happening millions of times a second in your pocket right now on your cell phone. Every device on the same channel is constantly doing this, and it's happening, it's happening super fast, unimaginably fast. So next time the Wi-Fi doesn't work, next time the Wi-Fi gives you some trouble, you might sit back and think, wow, it's kind of amazing that this works at all. It's kind of incredible that this works at all. It's so, it's so crazy how quickly this happens. 